My name is Colin Drummond, and I have the good fortune of being the, uh, the director of the Translational Research Partnership at Case Western Reserve. This has been a five-year partnership funded by the Coulter Foundation, and what we really do is we have a fund of about a uh, million dollars a year, and we use this money to invest in companies, uh, or I should say we invest in technologies, and the technologies are usually something that's developed by someone from Case Western Reserve, so it involves Case and Western Reserve technology. But what's unique about the investments we make is that the teams we invest in are partnered. So we have a researcher from Case Western Reserve, but we also have a clinician. And what we find is when we invest in projects in which you have a pairing of a clinician and a researcher, you find that the uh, focus on intellectual property is a little bit stronger. You find that the, uh, the clinical need is a little bit more clear to everybody involved. Involved. And actually, you find it gets to market a little bit quicker. So, uh, again, we've um, we've had. Uh, I guess talk, yeah, just talk about a couple of the yeah. more, what you see as the more promising sure, uh, sure. technologies. Right. So, out of um, out of about uh, 60 investments, we've got 13 that are active, and some of the more promising ones. Uh, number one, I'd say on the list is Thermalin, which has gotten a lot of press recently, and that's a thermally stable in insulin, which has a lot of repercussions. The second one, which I think is uh, going to have an impact, is. Uh, is Neuros, which deals a lot with pain management, and that's a, that's a pain is a very very big industry, and this is a, people who are refractory to pharmaceuticals, and this is an alternative for them. So this is having a big impact, a lot of interest from uh, companies like uh, like uh, Medtronic. Uh, another one that's, I think, of sig uh, significance is Swallowing Solutions Incorporation, and this is one in which people who, most people don't know that if you have a stroke, one of the complications of that is the inability to swallow. So this is a neurostimulation device that allows people to swallow and actually have a, choir, uh, uh, a higher quality of life because they can now eat instead of having a, a gastrointestinal tube.